A new version of the M1A2 Abrams main battle tank, which has been a U.S. Army linchpin for over 40 years, is currently under development. The new version, the SAP version 4, or SAP V4, will feature several modernization upgrades and should allow the Abrams to serve for decades still. As the U.S. Army Acquisition Support Center's ASC, website boasts, the Abrams tank sends a message to those who would oppose the United States as to the resolve, capability, and might of the U.S. Army. Despite the hyperbole and jingoism, the M1A2 Abrams is a fine weapons system, capable of giving adversaries pause. When first introduced in 1980, the M1A2 Abrams was ahead of its time as one of the first third-generation tanks to enter service anywhere in the world. Third-generation tanks feature composite armor and computer-stabilized fire control systems, making them much more sophisticated than their second-generation predecessors. While resource-rich nations like the US and UK had unveiled third-generation tanks by the mid-80s, resource-poor nations like Ukraine and Bangladesh were still producing second-generation tanks in the 2010s, meaning the 1980 version of the M1A2 Abrams was more advanced than the tanks third-world countries are fielding today. When the M1A2 Abrams was released, it featured an assortment of then novel, and still relevant, technologies. Most notable, perhaps, is the M1A2's top-secret armor system. The Abrams is one of the only tanks in the world confirmed to use Chobham composite armor, the construction details of which remain a secret, several decades after its first design, I wrote for 1945. While the precise specifics of Chobham armor are classified, we know that the design incorporates ceramic tiles encased inside a metal framework, set against a backing plate that has several layers of elastic. The Chobham ceramics are very, very hard, so that they may prevent shape charges, known for killing tanks outfitted with more conventional armor, from penetrating the M1A2's armor. The Chobham ceramics are also brittle. The reason, in the event a projectile does penetrate the ceramic, the Chobham's brittleness will create a jagged entrance channel, rather than the smooth entrance channel created in conventional metal armor. The jagged entrance channel typically results in asymmetrical pressures on the penetrating charge, which can cause the charge to fail. Chobham armor has excelled under combat conditions, rarely are Chobham-equipped tanks ever killed in the field, meaning the M1A2 Abrams has a world-class armor system. well. Wow.